Senator, I want to ask you about a subject you've had to address repeatedly on this trip, which is the situation in Iraq and the question of whether the surge has helped improve conditions there. During the primaries, you criticized Senator Clinton for failing to say that her vote authorizing the war was a mistake. Now we have commanders on the ground pretty much saying that the surge has succeeded, and yet you said that if you had to do it all over again, you still would have voted against the surge. We're not going to ask you whether to, you know, to change your position here. <laughs> you're, you're not going to ask me, but go ahead. But um, <laughs> I, I would like to know uh, whether you feel that after the last five years, um, haven't we learned that a commander in chief needs to be willing to acknowledge mistakes or errors in judgment when circumstances You know, I, I mean, I have to say, it is fascinating to me to, to hear you, you guys re-emphasize this over and over again. I have not heard yet somebody ask John McCain whether his vote to go into Iraq was a mistake. I, I have. Uh, oh, during the entire week that we were having this conversation. Uh, and so the, the question is, what are the strategic uh, judgments that have to be made in order to make America safe. Uh, I strongly believe that going into Iraq was a disaster, strategically. It distracted us from finishing the job in Afghanistan. Uh, I have acknowledged repeatedly in every one of these interviews that the fact that we put more troops in there helped to quell the violence. Right? I've, been, I've been saying that all week. Uh, the question is whether or not my position in suggesting that we need to begin a phased withdrawal, we should have begun it earlier, uh, whether that position that I took was a mistake. And I do not believe it was because I continue to believe that the only way for us to stabilize the situation in Iraq, I believed it then and I believe it now, is for the parties to arrive at a set of political accommodations.